bien? Guess what kind of tea they're serving here? Coca tea, made of the leaf that you get to make cocaine. Let's see if I'm gonna get high. Mm. I love the aroma. I'm really getting tipsy now. I'm pretty wired. <laughs> What's up? We just checked into the JW Marriott in Cusco, Peru. Among the hustle and the bustle of the city, all the dust, this space is like a sanctuary. It's so serene, has a beautiful courtyard. It's like you're transported to another place, another ambience, another atmosphere. I think I'm gonna have a great time here. What is this, pork? Huh? Pedro. What fruit is this? What is this? Tuna, tuna, tuna. tuna. How about this one? That's Casarapo. How about this one? This is Casarapo. How about this one? This is Casarapo. Gooseberry. Gori Cancha. Thank you. So the Spanish came here and brought their church, Domingo Church. And the church started building all the churches everywhere and covered all the Inca temples. That's how they wiped out all their culture with Christianity. And at the same time, stealing all their gold. Now, this is the replica. So if, if you look at the roof, it used to be made of solid gold. Can you imagine brick wall? Like the whole brick made of solid gold until the Spanish came and took everything. They looted everything. But the Spanish covered all the walls like this with plaster and pigment. They tried to eliminate the culture of the Inca. But guess what? The Inca got was kind to their people and sent an earthquake and everything started to crack and shows the real brick walls of the Incan Empire that is just like a Bible on your left hand and a sword on your right hand it's either you follow me or the highway it's either you became a Christian or you get the fury of the sword. Pam! Lunchtime in Cusco. We're going for lunch now. Chicha! So good. What is this? Empanada. Huh? Empanada. Empanada. 
check out my alpaca carpaccio. This is the first time I'm eating alpaca. And this is soup. This is trout. Olive tiradito with trout. Check out my crunchy belly skin. Wow, look at that. Today is the first time I sampled Peruvian cuisine in Peru. I'm impressed. I'm looking forward to try and experience more of the cuisine. Cheers, Nate. This is a Malbec wine, also from Peru. Cheers. We're on the way to Machu Picchu. We're gonna take a train. It's gonna be about one and a half hours ride. There. Hello. Okay. Don't tell me we're gonna take cargo, right? No cargo for us. Yeah. Look at the sea of people coming out of the train. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Very good. Muy bien. Well, fortunately, that's not our train. We are taking that one over there. Those are porters? Like the Sherpas on the uh, on the Himalayas. Oh, for trekking? Yes. We want, uh, yeah. we want to get all the weight. 20 kilos each one. Really? Yeah. Wow. Hola! Hola! Yes, Thank you. Final destination, Machu Picchu Station. Please pay attention to the following safety and service area. We would like to remind you about the government law. Seriously, are we going to jump off? I don't think so. I don't think so. Hola, what kind of tea you have? I have coca tea. Munya tea, black tea, chamomile tea, also anise tea. I don't like to have coca tea, but can coca you guarantee tea. that I don't get high? <laughs> because when I get high, I get really crazy. Coca tea. Huh? Coca -tea. Do I get high? Coca tea. Like yeah. Yeah. Coca tea. Okay, let's go. So I'm having this uh, coca tea. When I was in college, I used to snort this shit. But now I'm drinking this. Mmm. It smells so good. This drink is from a purple corn. I can't wait to taste it. A little bit grapey, grapey. Like wine, except the alcohol. Kinda like it. It's a quiet taste. Now I have a date with Sun God. Let's go! Sun God, here I come! Hola! That is the Inca king. The condor represents the sky, the puma is the earth, and the snake is the underworld. After the train ride, we're gonna hop on to a bus ride before we reach our destination. Hola! Bumpy, bumpy ride. Uphill. Bam, bam, bam. Adios, chate, chate.
after the fog clear, we uncover this magnificent structure by the Inca Empire. Here with Machu Picchu. Majestic. We are 2400 above sea level now. That is the Temple of the Sun. These terraces, these walls, not only they protect from landslide, but they used to grow crops there. Agriculture. Ingenious, the Incas. Well, you see in Machu Picchu, they don't need that landscaper here. What is the point of having landscaper? You just put a few lava here, and they all just mow, mow the grass. Look, that is what we call lava scaper. You see, to reach Machu Picchu, you need to trek for two hours. And within that two hours, you cannot pee pee. No bloody way. If you get caught peeping, you get banned from the seventh wonder of the world for two years. And guess what? Look at this. This water, this bottle, save me. All natural. Yeah. NYPD, I saw a little boy pee pee in Machu Picchu. That's bad. I'm gonna catch this birdie and let's set it free. Really? Yeah. Let's do that. Super pictures to the rescue. Yeah! <laughs> we are on the way for our dinner. It's walking distance from the Marriott Hotel. It's literally like just two minutes. There, Marco. Christmas trees. Wow. Look at how they bake the pizza. Tally with mushroom, white wine sauce, and cream. Mm. Look at that. So I ordered another alpaca marinated in oriental salsa sauce. Look at this amazing looking beef. We serve with rice here. This is like a giant corn. This beef is so tasty, so tender. It's like a beef stroganoff, but um, the, the sauce is lighter. It tastes so good with the rice. I'm beginning to really loving Peruvian cuisine. It's probably one of my favorite now. Lovely. At night, Cusco is covered under a starry blanket. The backdrop so gorgeous that it deserves to be preserved for eternity. At the meantime, Happy New Year, stay positive. Cheers!